this is Kara Brandon. Welcome back. I have four more uh, journal kits that I have listed in my shop and I kind of wanted to go through them. They're in this cute little mini pizza box. The box itself, just to give you an idea of size, is eight and three quarters by seven by about two um, inches wide. Cute and, whoops, cute and little. <laughs> um, and I know lots of us are getting ready for December daily or making Christmas journals. So I thought it would be fun to put a few journal kits together for Christmas. And in this kit, each of them again, um, basically the same things like the fabric, fabric, let me see if I can speak, fabric scraps might be a little bit different with size, but they're all the same fabrics. Um, same with the lace, blah, blah, blah. So we'll get to that as we go. But this one has one, two, three, four, five, six, this one has snowman, seven, eight, nine fabrics. Some are a little more vintagey um, and retro. Some are, you know, more modern and that kind of thing. But um, there's a little scrap bundle. Would be cute to make a little, make sure I'm in frame, yep, collage uh, to go on a cover or, pockets or that kind of thing in your junk journal and then there's also some red lace and then I have the bulb pen and this cute little tree that I just attached just to make it look cute and then I have some of this crocheted lace in a cream color and then we have blue um, the reason I tossed in just a little bit of blue is if you're maybe using my Christmas digital kit, there is some blue in that kit. So I thought, oh, I'll just toss in just a little bit and um, add it to that. So there's green lace, blue lace, and then this maroon felt that is wired. And if you wanted to use it in your journal, but you didn't like the wire, you can always pull the wire out. And then there's this one that is definitely retro, and it's this felt uh, ribbon that I I think I got at a yard sale like a long a while ago I don't know and then we have these little bundles with a couple beads and some buttons so I have a bunch of these kind of retro they're plastic but they kind of look like glass sparkly um, beads that my mom got from her friend, like a whole bag of them. And I thought these would be really cute to um, wire wrap and make as dangles on a journal, on a Christmas journal. So each kit has three of those. And then there's some green buttons and then there's some red buttons. And each kit has a um, one of those Russian dolls, but there's another name for it that I can never remember. So there's buttons for decorating. Maybe I'll make a tassel with those. That'd be kind of fun to kind of show you what my brain was thinking. <clears throat> and then there's a bundle of vintage goodies and other goodies, um, paper goods in like a little packet here. And this might be a little bit different uh, for the different uh, boxes. Man, can't think. Each one does have one of these envelopes with the Christmas trees, the gold foil Christmas trees. And then each one has the coin things that I can do that you use as specimen cards. And then there's some retro to and from cards also have a couple of these vocab cards each one has this fun card and envelope i thought the silver was very christmasy there's a playing card in each with a christmas background each one has some sort of uh, vintagey kind of this is a hallmark card but a different kind of christmas card and then there's 
and like two or three of the cards in each one. Then a vintage envelope. For, this one's from 1957 with the post postage stamp. I just thought it was really cool. And then some glassine bags. And then this one has cookies, so a baking page. And then I have a bunch of old wrapping paper. So some retro wrapping paper. All of the same styles in each one of the kits. I love this one. This one is so fun. You could cut out the images and collage with it. Super cute. Each one has a poinsettia napkin for decoupage. And then I have this. Oh, what's her name? Oh, what's her name? Hmm. Oh, what's her name? The artist that draws these. <laughs> Inglehart, there it is. I took a book page and put one of those in each one of the kits. And then I have a Norman Rockwell book. And so each of the kits has some pages from the Norman Rockwell book. I also have some doilies. Here's a snowflake one, a white one, and then this fun ovaly shape. And then yeah, so that is all the goodies that will be in this junk journal kit. I have four of them available. So if you're interested, go ahead and snag it. <laughs> and I'm also working on, <clears throat> excuse me, some forest kind of, I wouldn't say forest exactly, but outdoorsy kind of naturey kits to go with the field and forest junk journal kit. And those are coming. <laughs> I'm still getting my stuff together. All right, so. If you have questions about these, let me know. The link to the Etsy shop, my Etsy shop is in the description and have a great day. Bye-bye.